Speak. Is it Fan Friday? It is! Is it Fan Friday? Say, it's Fan Friday! <clears throat> Alrighty, as you can see, Shiloh and Shelby are enjoying some treats that they got. We'll show you those at the end of the questions here. First question today comes from Randy, and she wants to know, how long can a husky stay alone in the house? Shiloh and Shelby are probably home alone for about eight to nine hours a day, Monday through Friday. When we first got Shelby, she was in a kennel most of that time, and now she does have full roam of the house, but it really just depends. Once they get into a good routine, they can be home by themselves for a while, as long as they have some toys and things to occupy them. They usually do okay. Molly wants to know, what are the main do's and don'ts? when owning a husky. Off the top of my head, some of the biggest things I can think of is huskies really shouldn't be trusted off leash. They're pretty good at running away. Don't ever, ever, ever shave a husky. Ever. That is one of the worst things you can do for them, for their skin, for their coat. I know they shed a lot, but shaving a husky is one of the worst things you can do for their hair of their fur. Angus wants to know what kind of weather is suitable for a husky and do I need to cut their fur? Trimming their fur, not really necessary. They're fur kind of grows in and sheds out as it needs to. If you do trim any of their fur, the only time, only things I really ever trim on Shiloh and Shelby is the fur between their toes. Sometimes we trim that, but that's about the only fur on these two that we really ever trim. As for suitable weather, huskies can pretty much live in any climate. They do really well in colder climates. You know, if you're somewhere where it's really warm, as long as they have air conditioning, lots of fresh water, and maybe a pool, they usually do pretty good just about anywhere. Clarice wants to know if Shiloh or Shelby will be entered in the Bissell contest contest again this year. No, I don't even know if they're doing the contest again this year, but I'm thinking since Shelby took third place last year, we probably won't enter them again this year. Victoria from Facebook wants to know how Shiloh and Shelby reacted to moving to the new house. We actually did a video on that. If you click somewhere over here, it'll take you to that video and you can see what happened when they when we got to the new house. Look, we got a package today. Shelby is really interested to see what's in the package. You wanna see, oh geez, right up to the camera, eh? All right, we got a package today from Joey Brown. Joey says he saw these toys in this box and instantly thought of Shiloh and Shelby. They really want these treats. You can't, would you stop it? We can't have the treats yet. We gotta see the toys first. What do you think's in here? <gasps> Check that out, you got your own Jeep key. What else is in here? And your own Jeep steering wheel. Look at that. Shelby took the key already. I didn't take the paper off it yet, Shelby. I didn't take the paper off it yet. Look, there's this one too. Those are pretty cool. I've never seen Jeep dog toys before. That is pretty neat. Can I see that one, Shelby? Can you see the Jeep key? Oh, what? You gonna take it from me? I can't take it from me. And he also sent these treats, which I read all the ingredients and it looks like Shiloh can have them because they have no corn and no beef and Shiloh really wants them. So hold on and I will open them. All right, let's give you one of these yummy treats. Look at that, say thank you so much. Thank you for the letter and for the cool Jeep toys and for the yummy, yummy treats. Pretty cool. That's all we have time for for this Fan Friday. If your question didn't get answered, you can always submit it again for next Fan Friday. Thanks for submitting the questions. We really enjoyed doing these videos. Thanks again to Joey for sending these awesome toys. Now you can drive your own Jeep, Shy. You can drive your own Jeep. Thanks a lot, you guys. We'll see you on Monday.